Hey, what's guys? Camp and Rusher here. The new season trailers just dropped. I'm going to share everything we know about the season. We know so much. It comes out tonight. Downtime begins at 2 a.m. Eastern. And let, let, let me play the trailer. You've probably seen it, but watch it again. Here it is. So much to unpack. I did a little mini live stream uh, earlier today covering uh, as it was premiered on the, the Game Awards show. I'm going to be live streaming again tonight, so subscribe, turn your noties on, and uh, might have another video up before then. We'll see if more stuff drops, but let's unpack the trailer a little bit, right? We've got, let, 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 let's be honest, this is the part that gave me the most chills. Sloan. Sloan made an appearance. The return of Dr. Sloan. I'm so fired up about this. She's not in the battle pass, obviously, right? We know what the battle pass looks like. So will she be a crew pack skin? Will she just come to the item shop? Or is this one of those, we're teasing it, and then we're gonna release it in season four. I hope it's not that. Uh, then, rideable raptors was another piece. I like the design, the look of the raptors this season, that, that blue color. Then we've got the new vine sliding. Uh, I think it's similar to the, the, the grind rails we've had this season. These should be set up around the entire jungle biome. Obviously, we did get a little bit of a better look in, in that trailer there. Uh, we did still only see the one named POI, but I'm not losing I'm not losing faith. It's a huge area and even Mega City was the only named POI tease in the trailers for its season and then we had other named POIs that dropped as well, right? So uh, we'll have the answers tonight. And then a new weapon. There's a few new weapons that we had no idea were coming. The the loot pool looks phenomenal so this remember we're supposed to have a mythic drum shotgun it's supposed to be gettable this was a kind of a theory but drum shotguns uh, evidence coming uh but then theory was we would get it from killing a jungle boss but now maybe this is the weapon we get from taking out the boss and is that boss going to be optimus prime because where else other than in that main temple that's been teased would the boss fight be, right? I'm just kind of theorizing a little bit, but obviously some of that, the, the, the weapon itself is going to be in game. It looks like a ton of fun. Our first look at the new mud feature, uh, slide in the mud for speed and camouflage. Uh, expect it to work similar to chrome blobs. It was supposed to slow you down when you walk in it, uh, but maybe they, they've changed how that's going to work. We also possibly have new llamas, uh, blue and red, spotted in the Fortnite Wilds trailer. They're also glowing blue. You can kind of see it in the background there. Uh, it's definitely a llama. It's got the glowing eye. Uh, I would love that. There hasn't really been an update to a change to the llamas, which is kind of one of the visual staples of this game. New weapons and gameplay mechanics. We've got the kinetic boomerang the wild wasp jar cybertron cannon that's was the cybertron weapon flapjack rifle thermal dmr and then the bomb flower stink flower and slurp plants okay these these flowers these plants are a new mechanic 
uh, for sure in the jungle biome, maybe spread out uh, through the entire map. I'll let you know. And then on top of that, we've got the lever pistol. Uh, the Mythic Drum Shotgun, like I've talked about. Helicopters returning at some point, maybe at the start, with a new launcher weapon. Uh, Epic and Legendary Thermal Bolt Action Sniper, confirmed. And then the Ropes and Chain Launcher. So, the Loot Pool looks to be very exciting. Speaking of Loot Pool, we have just dropped our newest map. Our newest UEFN map, Tactical Nuke Free For All. It's a gun game. The main goal is to get a 20 kill streak and drop a nuke on the other players. If you want to get the brand new battle pass for free, we're running a little competition. You got to tweet your most kills to Team Rush FN with proof in your username. And I'm going to give about the top seven will get a reward. And then I'll pick three just at random, even if you didn't have the most amount of kills and then i'll do one bonus one i have not seen it yet who is the first person to get a nuke on the map i haven't done it yet it's a 20 kill streak like i said send me proof you can use the board or take a video of it team rush fn and we're also going to update this map as soon as all the weapons are in creative i assume it happens to tonight with the update uh, the creative 2.0 we are going to throw all the new loot pool into the map so you're going to be using all the new weapons uh right away the season three gameplay trailer drops a around downtime's beginning which is around 2 a.m eastern uh, you know i'm just gonna say tonight because i'm staying up uh and then uh, we're gonna be live streaming uh, so we'll, we'll be live hopefully you're watching it with me tonight and then downtime could last up to five hours it's usually pretty long so uh, i'll help ease the pain you help me ease the pain we'll hang out and look at leaks and stuff together uh, season three secret skin looks to be paradise Meowsel, summer meowsels, and uh, people, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. The, I think the reason people are maybe a little upset about this is that we thought relic would be the secret skin. And there's a huge theory right now that I am on board with that Relic is actually the chromed out evil version of either Foundation or like a combination of all the seven members, right? You can see a photo here by the Raging Reaper, check him out, uh, you know, showing the similarities. The only difference in Foundation is like the body mass, the body style. Regardless, I don't think that fully takes away from the theory. It's got that same type of hardened out chrome that the herald had when she chromed herself up and then it you know hardened going into the next season why is meowsel's the secret skin is he going to do something you know secret skin worthy to have that position everyone's saying everyone's saying bring back uh midas right that, that would do the trick if, if, if meowsel's brings back midas okay you've earned your spot right we'll see i don't think we'll have the answer to that uh, you know, maybe some of that, if the theory, especially with Relic, is correct. Maybe we'll learn a little bit uh, by the end of tonight. Uh, if not, we'll have to wait and see how the season goes. Okay, here is Season 3's description. Uh, bear with me. I'm not going to throw it on your screen. You're just going to listen to me narrate. The center of the island has collapsed, re revealing a vast hidden jungle with ancient secrets to discover. Ascend to canopies, ride raptors, and slide in the mud for speed and camouflage. Detect enemies with the new thermal DMR. Skid on vines while firing the flapjack rifle or transform opponents into spectators with the cybertron cannon with wilds things have gotten a little wild navigate around the map to discover new forms of life such as the bomb flower stink flower slurp plants and more plus there's plenty of exciting new pois to be found on your journey there we go there's more than one but don't forget your weapons danger is ever present and you may want to hold on to the kinetic boomerang or maybe even a wild wasp jar so it looks like we're launching with boomerang as well a good exploration starts with great explorers this season's battle pass includes all new outfits la da 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 and it lists all the battle pass names so a lot of stuff confirmed in there it looks like they're launching with a lot Lot, a massive loot pool and I cannot wait to get in and explore. We're going to end the video now with a little public service announcement. I'm going to be using it. It's a strategy to start next season with a boosted amount of XP. It's completely legal. It, it, it's okay uh, to do it. Alan Hoos, I'll link him down below, is the one who is the one who made me aware of this. So what you do for your last session of Fortnite Season 2, you hop into a UEFN map. Of course, I'm going to suggest tactical nuke free for all but it does not have to be my map any map because the way uefn gives out experience is time play you just have to play right and then you log out you get a you get awarded the xp a little bit later next time you log in so what you do go into the map sessions are up to four hours long so if you joined in let's say tactical nuke free for all because just shameless self-promotion i join in right away uh, you gotta kind of not be afk move around every 15 minutes or so before the session ends and before downtime begins you 
close the Fortnite game, right? Just close it right then and there. And then you don't launch Fortnite again until next season. And then you'll have some backlogged XP that'll go straight into the brand new battle pass. Thanks for watching. Take care. Touch that like button. Subscribe. Goodbye.